Hello. In this video, we are going to prove the following theorem. Let f and g be non-empty families of sets. And suppose every element of f is disjoint from some element of g. Then the union of f and the intersection of g are disjoint. Now if you recall, given a family of sets f, to say that x is an element of the union of f means that x is an element of some set in f. And to say that x is an element of the intersection of f means that x is an element of every set in f. Okay, so now let's get into proving the theorem. Now, we're trying to prove that the union of f and the intersection of g are disjoint. And what that means is, is we want to show that the union of f and the intersection of g share no elements in common. And the way we're going to prove that is we're going to show that every element of the intersection of G does not belong to the union of F. So give me an arbitrary element of the intersection of G. I'll call it X. And from here, we're going to show that X does not belong to the union of F. And to show that X is not an element of the union of F means that we want to show that this is false. That is, we want to show that X is not an element of any set in F. In other words, we want to show for all sets A in F, X is not an element of A. So this is what we want to show. And since we're trying to prove a statement about every set in F, give me an arbitrary set in F. I'll call it A. And our goal from here is to show that X does not belong to A. Now, by our hypothesis, we know that every element of f is disjoint from some element of g. Well, since a is an element of f, we have that a is disjoint from some element of g. I'll call it b. Now notice, we know that x is an element of the intersection of g, and b is an element of g. And remember, to say that x is an element of the intersection of g means that x is an element of every set in g. Well, since b is an element of g, we have that x is an element of b. But also, a and b are disjoint, which means a and b do not share any elements in common. So, since x is an element of b, we cannot have that x is an element of a. Therefore, x is not an element of a. And that is exactly what we wanted to show. So putting this together, we see that under the assumption A is an element of F, it follows that X is not an element of A. Since A was arbitrary, this means for all sets A and F, X is not an element of A. So we have proven precisely this statement, which amounts to showing that X is not an element of the union of F. But now notice, we see that under the assumption x is an element of the intersection of g, it follows that x is not an element of the union of f. Since x was arbitrary, this means that every element of the intersection of g does not belong to the union of f. And because every element of this set does not belong to this set, this amounts to showing that these two sets have no elements in common. So they're disjoint. And that's exactly what we wanted to prove. So this completes the proof. And so yeah, that's pretty much it for this video.